So we find that when we run this code, and let's try that again. It takes a little while for the the different components to be implemented. However, we have a, a couple of issues. Uh, let's retry. There's a break. It seems to be an issue with M. Um, and let's break, and it brings us back here. So one of the issues that uh, plausibly arise here uh, relates to the size here of M. So M, if you like, was the price size and if we went into the, the solutions, let's have a look at the view and look at the solutions explorer. If we look at the data we have here 100 observations of S&P. So going back to the source file, um, if we if m was equal to 100, then uh, the number of returns would have to be equal to 99. So 100 asset prices, 100 spot prices or 100 uh, observations in terms of prices can only generate 99 and because i starts at zero uh, zero to 100 zero to 99 is still 100 so that should be changed to two and um, okay so we'll change this to two and also perhaps what i should do before i make that change in is copy and double forward slash so we can see this code later if we need to change back so m minus 2 and then from previous code used to estimate the GARCH. GARCH has also undeveloped the site. Um, I noticed that uh, in other developed the code when we're estimating the returns instead of using as here the return is prices i divided by prices i minus one instead what was used was double forward slash Uh, prices i divided by prices i minus one now we can still run that just to see what happens in fact i've got to close that down so without making the change let's see is there success here and it's still causing problems so let's abort and let's change this to i minus i plus one for the moment okay and run again and this time we seem to have some numbers now because this is a Monte Carlo it's now 1016 and um, I'm going to pause and let that run and come back because it's a Monte Carlo estimation Okay, and uh, the results then for the model have just appeared. It's now 1017, so we didn't have a huge weight, but we only had 500 uh, simulations here. Um, so we generate a black Scholes value for the call and a black Scholes value for the put. Initially, what happens is the uh, raw data, the S&P 500 data, data, is used to generate a Garch model and GART parameters for alpha 0, alpha 1, beta 1, lambda. Um, the values for those parameters are first estimated, then those values are taken and used for 
to estimate a Monte Carlo uh, Garch and the Garch coal is 226 Black Scholes coal is 219 the Garch put is 409 and the Black Scholes put is uh, 419 now if we run that code again we'll get different estimates here so we might just try that let's run again so the parameters for Garch will be the same so no difference there but the estimates for the Monte Carlo model will differ and I'll pause again and come back okay so at the same basic parameters as before but the Garch estimates for the coal and the pot are slightly different uh, Black Scholes coal 219, 419 okay so we can run that again it's now 1021 um, let's try those to re-estimate and see what results we get again just to look at the degree of variation that we get with 500 simulations okay so we run one more time and while that's running we can pause okay and it's now 10.23 the garch call is now 198, the garch put is 424, uh, 219, 419 for black shoals. Okay, let's increase the number of simulations from 500 maybe to 1000. Okay, so let's try that. And I'll pause while it's executing. okay and it's now 1027 and when we estimate re-estimate the Garch Monte Carlo using a thousand simulations we know the Garch call is 205 and the Garch bot is 410 of course this code is quite slow and um, because it's um, using uh, if we look at how the how we generate the random number the NIU so the normal the inverse cumulative normal probability is obtained by bisection and if we go into we can see that if we go into our uh, normal functions um, we first of all we estimate uh, the normal cumulative probability and then to get the inverse we use a bisection technique which is a grid finding this is probably not the best approach because it's going to be slow okay we can go back to the source file again and we can raise the number of iterations to let's say this time we'll go 2000 and run again okay but this will be very very slow and then um, okay so let's initially the garch parameters are estimated and now the second part of the program uses these garch parameters uh, estimates to um, implement the Monte Carlo part a garch Monte Carlo option pricing model based on the one 1995 okay so let's pause and it's now 10.33 and we still haven't obtained results so we can put this to one side and just have a look at the code uh, why is the simulation so slow uh, the simulations are slow because if you look at how the random numbers generated uh, in the Garch Monte Carlo we're using uh, the random number and then we've got to convert the random number into a, a normally distributed um, random number so this random number is bounded by 0 and 1 and has a uniform distribution what we need is the equivalent of Z a random number that is um, adheres to a normal distribution 
distribution. Okay, they generate, they go from the um, random number that is has a uniform distribution bounded by 0 and 1 to have a normal distribution. We have to take the inverse normal cumulative probability. Uh, so we have to take the or we have to take the probability and invert that into uh, a normal variate. So uh, the pros process by which that occurs is we generate a random normal number. Uh, we generate uh, a, we use the cumulative uh, probabilities. Cum we generate cumulative. Uh, normal probabilities and then from there invert that but we invert it by using the bisection technique and the bisection technique it means that you have to keep uh, iterating a kind of grid search until you converge and we set out criteria for convergence so that's notoriously slow let's see if we any results yet no results yet okay I'll pause again for another moment okay so at 1036 we have some Results so Garch call is 221, uh, Black Scholes call is 219, Garch put is 427, Black Scholes put 419. Okay, so um, what Garch generally Garch is desirable because it can take into account both skewness and kurtosis. So, one of the advantages of using a Garch Monte Carlo model is it may fit the data a little bit better. Than relying on Black Scholes, uh, the Black Scholes model. Black Scholes model assumes volatility is constant. Garch allows the volatility to change over time, and as a result, skewness and kurtosis can be taken into account, and the volatility smiles can be better modeled as a result. Okay.